Welcome to the new and improved Features in QuickBooks Desktop 2018. The new features include multi-monitor support, enhanced search capabilities in the chart of accounts, cash and accrual toggles in your reports. You can also merge your vendors. There's a past due stamp and payroll liability reminders. This is mainly for the Premier and Premier Plus version. In the Enterprise and Accountant version, you will have the Enhanced Order Fulfillment along with the Mobile Barcode Scanning and Inventory Report Enhancements. This feature allows you to view reports on one monitor while inputting transactions on another. You can improve productivity by using the multiple monitors with the same QuickBooks file. The first thing you want to do is go over to your view and switch to multi-monitor mode. This will then give you a warning to enter multi-monitor mode, make sure you have at least two monitors connected. Once you have connected the monitors, you will be able to see at the top right a move window to next monitor button. Now you can see your report on one screen and be able to use the QuickBooks activities through here to be able to do transactions such as checks or invoices. Next feature is in Chart of Accounts. You want to go to your List drop-down and select Chart of Accounts. In here they've added this new feature which is look for an account name or number. I'm going to put in office and it is going to then search for anything with the word office in it in my chart of accounts. They also have added the report basis for cash or accrual. This is up to the left. If you need to run your reports in an accrual basis, this gives you the option but your owner may want you to run it in cash so he can see where he is. And this is a great feature to have at the front of the report instead of having to hit customize. Now we'll go over to the option to merge your vendors. In the accountant's version, they do have an accountant drop down and you will go to the client data review and merge vendors. In here you'll be able to select the vendors that you want to merge. In this case I'm going to select City of Bayshore and City of East Bayshore. So I will select it with a check mark and hit continue. Now it is going to ask me what vendor is my master vendor. So I will select the box for the master vendor. Remembering if you merge these all the information from the other vendor will not come over so you'll have to go in there and input possibly another phone number. It will then ask you if you are sure if you want to merge this so it gives you one more time uh, to make sure that these two are the same vendor and you would hit yes. You also notice down here it's got a backup or merge. If you do select backup and merge, it will make a backup of everything you need to recreate the company file in case there's accidental loss or damage to the data. Once the accounts are merged, you will get a confirmation and it will show only your one vendor. Now we want to go over to how to select the past due option. So you will go to your lists, templates, 
and select the current template that you're going to use your past due on. In this case, we're going to use an Intuit product invoice, and you will select that invoice. Now, at the bottom left is your option to print past due stamp. Some people like this on their invoices, some people don't, but it is an option now in 2018. You will notice up to the top left, if you did need to recreate the invoice, it will now have a past due mark on it. And next up is the pay liabilities reminder. This will show up if you have the advanced payroll. So this badge notifies users that liability payments are due in the next seven days. We were getting a reminder before, but it wasn't enough time to make that deposit. Now they also have shortcuts to, to use a Control-Alt-Y or a Control-Alt-V. These will copy any row that you have reoccurring in an invoice and be able to paste it if you have to do multiple lines going down your invoice. It's very convenient for uh, 30 or 40 line items that are the same. They've also updated their email security. Now you can go in to your preferences and be able to go to send forms, select my preferences, and the web mail. If you edit the email information, you'll notice here is your ability to use the enhanced security, and this is recommended. What a great feature in 2018. So please reference my QuickBooks for Beginners 2017 video for any other functionality other than these new features. Thank you again and please call if you have any questions.